What's up? Hey, what's good? What's popping? I am Miss Bear. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys for sliding through and coming to kick it with me. As you guys can see from the title. So about this. So this, I was just, you know, minding my own little lonely business. And I came across this video and it seemed pretty interesting because anything, anytime I see anything about, you know, our president in here, because, you know, it's just like, okay, so what's going on? So he's accused of towing the line of treason with this. So I'm pretty curious to know what they're talking about. So I'm not really going to talk too much, y'all. Let's just go ahead and get straight up into it. Mecca. All right, y'all. So I'm never sitting up all the way. If I can find the mouse and we can press play. President Biden's energy department reportedly funneling $10 million to a China-backed green energy company. And those funds were sent over after the company partnered with a Chinese oil conglomerate hmm. that just so happened to receive $1.7 billion in investments from Hunter Biden's private equity firm back in 2015. One that his son, Dr. Hunter Biden. President of the Heritage Foundation joins us now. Dr. Roberts, some people would look at that timing and say it's suspicious. Yes, yeah, 10 <laughs> to million to China and, bet you know, energy I, company. I was thinking this morning as I was reading the facts of this for the third time that it's like we're living in a dystopian I know novel. I'm in a way, y'all. But I'm, I'm sorry. I really am sorry as a proud American to report it's all Can true. And the reason it's true is that this administration has set up an annex of the White House in Beijing. <laughs> and two subsidiaries of that CCP-owned petroleum company are, are, are running basically these efforts. And so Hunter Biden has got to be investigated. Thankfully, the House Republicans are coming in with those plans. But I'll also say this, Carly, it's really important to note. There are rank and file mm -hmm. agents in the FBI who are aware of what's going we'll on, go and we need them to stand up and do what's right for America and throw the flag and say it is time to bring this administration to account. The Heritage Foundation will always give them cover is that, who is with that? our great analysts is that and Hunter researchers. Biden? And this I don't is even know what he looked like. Of look like. American national security. Yeah, you know, on the one hand, the remember. president is spending billions of dollars on the Chips and Sciences Act uh, to compete with China. And then on the other, he now has a history of giving mm, money to companies okay. with ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Is that normal? Because that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> no, it's, it's not normal at all. I mean, j just in case someone's watching and wondering about that, it is completely unprecedented. It, it likely is towing the line of treason, a word that I, I don't use lightly. You know that at Heritage, we wouldn't say something like that if there weren't substance for it. And I want to be clear, it's really important when the House Republicans come into office in a few weeks that they have an agenda that's aspirational about the future and not 100 percent about investigations. But in this case, for obvious reasons, it's really clear they need to use the power of oversight and the power of investigations to, as my colleagues like to say, show the receipts. And then we actually need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Going back to my point about the FBI also doing the right thing. Dr. Roberts, well, uh, let's talk about what's going on in California. Will there they are do three the right different thing? Will guaranteed anybody do the dang income right initiatives thing? in San Francisco that exclude white Same residents. And the initiatives are the Black Economic no, Equity residents. Movement, which provides $500 a month exclusively to black young adults. There's also the Abundant Birth Project, which gives 1000 bucks to a month to black and Pacific Islander mothers and the Guaranteed Income for Transgender People Program, which will dole out $1,200 a month and prioritize enrollment of trans gender, black, indigenous, or people of color. And now you have lawyers that are saying, hey, hang on a second. There are laws that ban programs that favor one race over the other. So is this legal? <laughs> it's not only not legal, it's sad, it's, it's tragic, and I would even say that it's evil for this reason. You know, I'm a historian. You remember sitting in, in history classes, Carly, where hopefully your teacher or professor said one of the greatest achievements like in the United crying. States of America is the 14th Amendment. 620,000 fellow Americans gave their lives over a conflict, the Civil War, that produced, thankfully, the 14th Amendment. It is considered mm -hmm. by historians, political scientists across the political spectrum, our crowning achievement. What something like this in San Francisco does is say all of that should be thrown out. 
and it should be thrown out because now they want to, as they would say, define everyone by their race or by being transgender. This is precisely the kind of thing that's wrong with modern America. And not to mention that just on the economic side, when you guarantee people an income, yeah. guess what they don't do? They don't work. show up for work. Yeah. So there's nothing about this that makes sense. You're absolutely right. If the That's issue of true. government handouts really benefit low income people, making them more reliant on the federal government, historically, it seems to not be beneficial. Dr. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Great to be with you. Take care. I always do this. Like, these hotkeys on this software don't be wanting to work when I be wanting to The first to push indication it. that uh, we're not talking about this right now. So look, the hotkeys is gonna be working on this software, y'all. When I be pushing it, you know, just the hotkeys to avoid me using the mouse, I could just click click and it just do what I want it to do. It don't do it when I want it to do it. But when I'm not trying to do it, that's when it's time to do that. Then you guys get to see my old intro that I just had, but I switched. And I never took it away from the software and apparently it's still programmed to the high key. So I need to work on fixing it, y'all. I know that is so, you know, random. Let's go ahead and end the video because we still just looking at, you know, we weren't even watching this particular video. But NT Hill, NT Hill, I'm just, you know, it's just, it's to the point where it's not like a lot of things um, surprise me anymore. Um, it's just more so like, okay, now what's going on again? Okay, now, like, you know, but I know everybody has, you know, their own different perspectives in all of this. And it's just, you know, like this whole Hunter situation. It seemed like Hunter didn't, it seemed like he didn't, you know, he didn't, that's probably what that, my last video that I reacted to about, like I'm putting the pieces together. If you guys have not seen that video, after this video, you know, take a stroll on my channel, take a look. But you know, it's just, I don't know, some stuff is just, just intolerable. And I just feel like people just need to wake up and just see what, what's, what's really going on in the world. Because as I'm on this journey, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just at this point i'm not shocked like when i first started it was like what oh i mean it's still like that but it's just to the point where it's just like oh well that don't it's not shocking to me unfortunately because you know that's how this person is or this and that and it's just you know we should be able to trust the people that are in charge you know what i'm saying that we vote for that's why it's important to vote you know, it's important to learn, get that knowledge and everything so you can vote correctly. You know what I'm saying? Because voting counts. You know, some people don't vote because they don't know who to vote for. They don't agree for either political party. So it's just, you know, it's important to have that knowledge, you know, and I'm, I'm learning it more and more. But anyway, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Just as much as I enjoy reacting to it, y'all comment down below. Let me know what your guys, I said y'all guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Also, guys, the original video will be linked in my description box down below just in case you guys want to, you know, go ahead and check it out on your own time. Also, um, if you guys are new to my channel, don't leave without hitting that red subscribe button and ringing that bell so when I drop a new video, you will know. You won't miss it and you will be right here. And also, guys, don't forget to like, thumbs up this video. Y'all send me some more recommendations on what you guys want to see. Like, drop some links. Like, let's talk about it. We also could talk about this situation here. Like, let's talk about it in the comments, y'all. And anyway, as usual, I appreciate you guys for coming through. And some, I said coming to me. <laughs> y'all, somebody tell me to slow down. Just say, slow down, sweetie. It's, it's okay. Like, let me pat my... It's okay. Like, slow down. You talking too doggone fast. Dang. That's why you can't talk. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming through, coming to kick it with me. And until next time.